Hey everybody, how is everybody doing this afternoon? I hope everybody's doing good. I am going to talk to you guys a little bit about, I had recorded a video earlier, posted it up on YouTube about the Jeffrey Epstein case, and I'm going to do some clarifying on all of that. Um, I've been researching all day long. I have gotten deep into this. And um, I, on my video before, I'd said that the uh, island that he owned was owned by England and I did think it was owned by England but I did some research and it actually is in the Virgin Islands of America and so um, if it's in America that means that well it's in the US Virgin Islands so that means it's US territory that means that the US government can go search that we need to be adamant about the US government searching that property because who knows what could be happening there um, weird thing that happened, um, in January of 2019, January 5th, it was late at night in the Caribbean and, um, all the Caribbean people that lived closer to his island could see this huge fire burst out in flames, almost like an explosion, they said. And it was on the, um, edge of the island that had the temple actually on it. And the whole entire temple itself and the actual mountain itself was on flames. And I saw some pictures off of uh, Google Maps, I think, on Twitter that were of his island. And um, they were all like, like you could see the, the, the temple. But the temple had this big, huge, like, ball shaping thing on the top. They had already taken that off, dismantled it. And um, I don't know when that the Google photos were taken, but it definitely was before January 5th of 2019 because you would have seen the burn down and it would have been bad. But it seemed like the whole mountain was on fire. So what it thinks to me is they were burning evidence. Possibly that's where they were keeping the sex slaves. In my mind, what I think is he was getting these sex slaves, sending them there, capturing them, keeping them at this island than getting the famous people or the politicians or the royalty or whatever it is, bringing them down there, selling them to the people and sending them back off with their sex lives. Um, I saw a video on Twitter earlier um, off the Deep State um, Twitter account and it was releasing some of the victims' stories. And um, they also had a video that were, was released by Palm Beach Um police station sheriff's department i think and uh it was when they searched his home in palm beach and um so the the little girls or the girls were so, they were grown up more grown up now but they were talking about you know how his bedroom was up this weird little spiral staircase and then you went into his bedroom and then you went down this other little hallway into another room and that's where everything happened and there were sex toys and horrible things and then he would pay him money, of course, at the end of it. But um, when I was watching the video of the actual footage of them going into his home, into his bedroom, it was exactly how the girls explained. So there's these these girls are very credible. Um, the thing about it is I don't want anybody to call it girls or younger women or underage women or girls, whatever. It needs to be named minor children. This is children. He was sexually molesting children. And who knows who he was selling them to to sexually molest them or just letting them borrow them. I mean, it's horrible. He has connections with Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump. I mean, all the royalty possible. He's got connections everywhere. He's had lots and lots and lots of connections over time that I'm sure have gotten his uh, number for only a few reasons. <laughs> but um, I do think this is a big case. Um, somebody on Twitter said that somebody else has gotten arrested already and they won't announce it for another 24 hours or something. But we'll see. Um, I'm sure that there's people getting arrested more. Um, I saw the press conference this morning and they were saying any victims or anyone that possibly in the whole world knows about this man call 1-800-CALL-FBI. And so if anybody on here is a victim of Jeffrey Epstein, call 1-800-CALL-FBI. And, and just tell them anything you need to tell them, but you need to tell them the truth. 
because the truth will set you free. Um, I'm going to tell you, I cannot, cannot go not one more day with these horrible people running this country. We have to demolish it. We have to get back to regular life. <clears throat> regular life is this. You get married. You love your husband or your wife. You have children. You enjoy your children and your family. You work if you have to. But if you don't have to work, if you're that capable, then you need to be growing food on your land. You need to be harvesting. You need to be building buildings. You need to be creating things. You need to be unique. People need more uniqueness. People need to have their minds opened. People need to realize that we are not all equal in this world. We're all original ourselves. We all have our own personalities. We all have our own things. We all have our own wants in life, our own needs in life. We all have different things that we like that interest us. So we need to come together as a whole world, but mainly, definitely as a country, and say, we got to give up on this weird capitalism lifestyle we're living and start getting back to the basics. Get back to living life, enjoying your family, and concentrating on yourself and not all the outside world and not all the outside problems. But also, if you're involved in a country or living in a country that you have a social security number for, you don't want your country to be run, run wrong. And I know they say vote, vote, vote. That's not it no more. Yeah, we can vote all we want. We don't know who we're putting in office. They could be sexual molesters or they could be rapists. They could be, who knows what they could have done in their past. We don't know. So what we need to do is we need to research. We need to learn. We need to express our emotions online, express our full-on lifestyles, show people what's right and what's wrong. We need to talk about what we want in life. We need to express to the whole country that we want peace. We want calm. We don't want criminal activities going on with our government and with our Hollywood. We want regular life. We want everybody to be treated equally and respectfully, but everybody also respect everyone's uniqueness and respect everyone's personalities and their interests. And we just need to be more communicative and I know everybody's on this internet all the time, and it's a great thing to communicate with people through the internet. But I will say to you right now, we need to not have our heads in the internet as much and enjoy our lives and, and be creative around ourselves and not sit in a dark room in front of a computer. Half the time when I'm out here or when I'm doing a video, I'm outside. I love being outside. I love growing, planting Oh, doing projects out here, yard work, whatever it is. We're growing watermelons, tomatoes, whatever. But, uh, I mean, I, I enjoy that. And I, I get to do it. I'm very lucky. And um, I do it with my mom. And we have a great time. But uh, I will tell you right now, if you can just get back to the basics, then life could get better. Um, I'm telling y'all right now, this Jeffrey Epstein case is just the tip of the iceberg, as everybody said, and I'm really sorry all of this is having to happen and mind blow everybody, but uh, get ready because um, I'm not going to be stopping talking about this. This is important. People need to know. Y'all have a good night. Enjoy this video. Like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram.